Today I had a very special day with ARMY at BTS's 5th Muster Magic Shop in Busan Asiad Auxiliary Stadium. ARMY from Korea and around the world such as the US, Philippines and India were super excited to be here at Jimin and Jungkook's hometown, Busan. Some were curious about what types of Busan specialties were yummy and which places were worth going to. That is why I've decided to visit popular sites in Busan after BTS's fan meeting. Are you curious about which hot places there are in Jimin and Jungkook's hometown? Then watch this video! Hi guys, this is Grace Shin from Korea Now, and today I'm at Busan. Busan is known for quite a few things. First, it's the hometown of BTS members Jimin and Jungkook. Second, it's an international port city. Third, it's the second biggest city in Korea. Now I'm at Gukje Market, which was built around 1945, where Japanese goods were sold here after the Japanese colonization. A lot of people in Busan began to sell goods from foreign places. It's divided into different roads, so today we'll be going into one road, looking at different stuff and eating some delicious food. I think this market is really known for a lot of vintage clothes, cheap prices. See, over there it says vintage shop. Almost everything here is vintage, that's why it's so cheap. But even though they're vintage, the price is very, very cheap compared to Seoul. So that's really cool. How would I look in this? <laughs> like a little mermaid. And the reason why there's a lot of Japanese here is because, as I mentioned, Busan is a port city. It has one of the biggest ports in South Korea. They have a lot of exchange with like nearby countries, for instance, Japan. <gasps> Look at this one, it's so cute. I think maybe my, no, I thought my thumb would go in. <laughs> but yeah, my thumb would definitely go in there. <laughs> Do you guys know what this is? If you see like idol fan meetings, like a lot of idols put this on and look at this. This is the summer edition because usually it's like cotton. It's made out of cotton in the winter, but this became like a popular it item. Guys, look at this. Because it's gonna be summer soon in Korea, they have little fans out of Twice, Blackpink. There's so much more idols here. BTS did it again. <laughs> They're here. Ah, uh, see, these two are from Busan, Jimin, Jungkook. There's so many goods. It's amazing to see BTS in a traditional market. Their popularity is just, oh my gosh, it's beyond imagination. There's so much things to see in Busan Gukje Market. I had so much fun here. There's a lot of big roads while also small little roads where you can take a little tour into to see different goods. Now we're gonna go to one small road that's very famous for its food. It's called Gangtong Market. Let's go. So now we're at Bukpyeong Gangtong Yashijang, and Gangtong stands for tin cans. The history behind this market is that long time back, Koreans used to sell foreign goods within cans, like canned goods, and they were really popular. Now, in modern days, a lot of goods are here, especially street food, so I'm gonna go try out Busan's traditional and very popular street food. And these are called glass noodles. Doesn't it look so nice? And one tip if you're on a diet, you know glass noodles have like zero calories. So it's really good. It tastes really good, it's a bit spicy. But usually glass noodles don't have a taste, so the sauce is really amazing. This is one of Busan's like very special dishes. If you come to Busan, you need to try this out. It's wheat noodles. And it's really good, especially during the summer, because you eat it, it's cold wheat noodles. Usually when we eat cold noodles in Korea, they give you radish together because it just like hypes up the coldness. Oh, it's so long. Mm. It was a really hot day today, but this just pushes it all down. It's so refreshing. Oh, doesn't it look so nice? Oh, it's a really big bite. I already had like 10 chews, but it's not going down, it's that chewy. Next, it's fried tofu. It looks really interesting, right? It's like a little bag. This is fried tofu. Mm. And once again, there's glass noodles that are marinated inside. It's just really tasty. I recommend it. Oh, so many people are eating outside, and I think this is one of the merits of eating street food. You can eat outside, feel the wind, market atmosphere, amazing. I had 
have so much street food. That's why I'm saying you can literally, there, of course there's so many great restaurants in Busan, but the street food here is so nice. You can eat outside, you can eat inside. There's so many various menus, so just have a whole day here. Wow, so much. And over there, I think there's some like US snacks as well. It's like a variation of Japanese snacks, just foreign snacks from all over the world. I think it's really adequate to the name of international market, you know? We're at Busan International Film Festival Road. I'm gonna have street full hot dog, shiat hot dog. So it's basically this rice cake, similar texture, filled with honey, nuts. It's so savory. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so you can see that they're making it one by one really quickly. They're taking it out, wrapping it, rolling it together, putting it during the winter when it's cold. So they put it in a little cup for you. And it's special because in Busan, they put nuts now. Everything original tastes best, so. Busan seed hot dog, mm, so good. Oh my gosh, I had so much today at Bangtong Market. So after having so much food and so much street food, I decided to digest my stomach by coming to one of my favorite and most popular Busan sites, Kamchan Cultural Village. Now, Kamchan Cultural Village has so much beautiful scenery. It's a village, it's like a neighborhood with different colors. There's uh, art, within, there's a lot of museums, exhibitions, but most importantly, it was established after refugees from the Korean War. So it has a lot of history and culture to it, but Busan is promoting this village for a lot of tourists to come here because it's so beautiful now. Do you see this don't touch sign? The reason why you can't touch or be too loud here is that there's actual people living in some of these houses. So because there's so many tourists that come here, uh, they recommend that you don't touch or be too loud or throw away trash because actual people live here. So take that into mind. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. You can see the ocean over there. Oh, this is so nice. There's one prominent photo zone, and it's where the little prince is at. And you can sit down with the little prince and look at the whole scenery from like the high mountain up down all the way to the sea. So let's go find it out. Where is he? You have to go that way. Uh huh. You have to keep going straight, and then you find it. Oh, did you guys take a lot of pictures? Uh, we didn't take pictures there because there's like a long line you have to wait for. How long is this line? Uh, I think you have to wait like 20 minutes. 20 minutes to take a picture with yeah. the prince? Yeah. <gasps> it's so beautiful. This is a panorama. It's beautiful, I enjoy the scenery here. And I guess uh, it's uh, more condensed like Seoul. Mm -hmm. The market, uh, we were to the Kukjek market. Kukjek market, we were yeah. there too, yeah. yeah. And it was very great. Uh, I would recommend coming here uh, rather than Seoul, I guess. What's really amazing is that there's so many houses in this village and it's like a maze. It's so much fun to go around different little roads, go take a detour, and then all of a sudden you're, you're on top of some roof and then looking down at the scenery where you can see the ocean, the mountains, other colorful houses. But you know what? As much as it's a maze, I still didn't find little prints. <gasps> it's right there! It was right there all along. Oh my gosh, what the heck? My turn! Oh, it's very dangerous. <laughs> you have to be careful when you're here. Hi. <laughs> so he said, if you come at four in the afternoon, I'll begin to be happy by three. So he was happy to see me an hour ago. <gasps> oh, he has such a great view. There's so many things to see. You're very lucky. Oh, this is a photo zone because a lot of people like to take a picture of their backs with the little prince over here to show the beautiful scenery of Kamchan Cultural Village along with the scenery of Busan. So I'm going to be taking one of those very, very popular photo zone shots. Oh, the sun is steadily setting. You can see that the village is as beautiful as ever. 
I just wish I had more time in this village, but as you all know, I have so many more things to introduce you to in Busan. But if you have the time to come to Busan, please, please, please come to Kamcheon Cultural Village. Now I'll be going to one of Busan's most famous beaches. If you're curious, watch till the end.